y'all. Welcome back to Amber's Journey. This is Amber. Thank you so much for returning if you are coming back. And thank you so much for stopping by if you are new. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. So today I am going to be setting up my Hobonichi Cousin the first week of April. And my inspiration is the watercolor hummingbirds from Steph's Design Space. I absolutely love these. They're just so cute. Um, and then I might be using some of these arrows that I got from Create with Mandy. I have my Hobonichi boxes from Steph's Design Space. And then I have this one box that was left from regular boxes. This does fit in the sidebar. So I'm going to go ahead and use that so I can use this sheet up. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and get started. So... What I'm going to do first is I'm going to lay this box down in the sidebar. I absolutely love having a long box here. Just kind of a running to-do list for the week. And then I am able to put a few other things down as well. And it fits just perfect. The sidebars are a little bit bigger than the weekly bars. So that's one sheet down. I can go ahead and get rid of that. And we're done there. So let's go ahead and figure out the rest of it. Now I know for sure I want to use a purple box on Sunday because it is Easter in the United States. So I'm going to go ahead oops, and put that down to mark Sunday. And then what I normally like to do is set up the week so I put in my work across and then I'll mark off the bottom to put in my meals um, which I wanted to use some washi tape all right y'all I'm back I uh, didn't think about the washi so I'm gonna use this washi it it doesn't necessarily match 100% but it's pretty neutral so I'm gonna go ahead and use that to mark out my work week um, I believe I got this from <clears throat> Stuck on Creation. I think I got this with my journal that I had received for um, the custom journal I had made. So I start work at 9. So I'm just going to go ahead from 8 and 9 and block that out because, you know, I'm getting ready. And then at 9 I go in. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to mark that. <clears throat> of course, I can't find my washi card, so we're going to use this dashboard from Happy Planner. Y'all, I am a hot mess. I have been trying to keep up with my filming, but it's been, it's been trying, to say the least. Um... I've been working two jobs, if you've been following me, um, for the past couple weeks, so it's been hard to keep up with everyday life, let alone filming, um, but um, still planning, still using my planner even whenever I'm not on camera, so it's not too bad, um, but I want to try to keep up with everything here. And then also, um, today is... Saturday, which Saturdays and Sundays are my off day from both jobs. So I spent the whole morning cleaning. I did some spring cleaning. Um, you know, the, sh the stuff that always gets missed during regular cleaning, like cleaning out my vents and cleaning off all of the overhead fans in the house and, you know, things along that line. So that's what I've been doing I spent about three or four hours doing that and then the regular cleaning of the kitchen the bathroom the bedroom you know the usual tidy laundry whatever else uh cleaning my oven um which if you hear that beeping in the background that's my oven telling me it's done cleaning because i put it on self-cleaning mode hold one moment please Sorry about all the interruptions so Anyways, as I was saying, I've been doing a lot of cleaning today, and now I finally get to go and plan in my planner and have some fun. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go look back at my monthly for April and see what all we have. I have a PR meeting, we have new releases, a doctor's appointment, and then Easter. So let's go ahead and put the doctor's appointment in first. 
I'm going to use the black box for that. And what time did that say? 9.40, so we'll put that. Mm, what day? Sorry, y'all. This is how I really plan. So Friday the 7th. Um, I'm going to put that up here. And that is a doctor's appointment for my hubby. I should probably have some kind of planning routine by now, right? All right, so why don't we do this to be a little bit more um, together. Let's start with the beginning of the week. So first thing is on Wednesday the 5th. I have a PR meeting, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these, and our PR meetings are usually around 8 o'clock, so put that here. And then I'm going to use this Villa Beautiful pen that was gifted to me by my friend Sylvia for my birthday. She knows I love green and she got me this one here. It's so pretty. Now, the only thing with Villa Beautiful pens, you cannot put it on the back here. It will scrape the color off. Um, so just a FYI there. So we're going to put our PR meeting in and I'm just going to be writing things in as I go because I will forget and I'd go back and be like, what was that box for? <laughs> um, so we're going to do that. And then I should probably have a marker in here for April. I don't know what I did with my dashboard for that. All right, we're going to just use this dashboard as a marker. Um, new releases on the 6th, and the 6th is also a full moon, so let's go ahead and I'm going to put the new releases up here, and these new releases are going to be for Steph's Design Space, so be looking out for those. Those will be coming off, coming out on the 6th. We do try to, or should I say Steph tries to plan a little bit ahead, so that way um, we know what's going on, and rip my page. It's okay. I'm going to cover it back up again. Let's grab some tweezers because I cannot lay a sticker down straight to save my life without it. There we go. And then I do have a new release sticker. And these bounce scripts are from Cute Cut Craft, who was a different shop I used to PR for. You can still use a code if you want. Um, I do have my friend Kim's code linked in the description with Cute Cut Craft if you guys are interested. Um, so we'll do that. And then I did pull these also. These are from Cute Cut Craft. These came in a grab bag um, and I thought the colors matched a little while. So I might use these for some of my stuff as well. Um, so we're good there. And then we have Easter Mark, doctor's appointment, new release. Um, and then it's a full moon, which I do have some stickers for that, which I'll grab in a little bit. So, okay. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some of these, um, So I'm going to mark my Monday because I know I work till 3 in my morning job. So go ahead and mark that. And then the blue. We'll do the same thing. Just for fun. Um, normally I use like a highlighter to do that, but... I have these, so I wanted to use them up. Um, some of them don't necessarily match the color scheme here, but it works, so. We have this one. <clears throat> and then 
this one. And that's okay if it goes in because that's while I'm at work, I'm not typically doing too much then. So, and then let's do, let's do the purple. I use one of these to mark here. And then if I need to put a box in, I can. These are clear stickers, again, from Create with Mandy. I normally don't use stickers like that, but I thought they were fun and cute. So we have our boxes in. I wanna go ahead and put the doctor's appointment down. I think I'm gonna use the blue. And then I'm gonna write in I just put my pen. I guess. I'm gonna write in hubby at 9.40. There we go, and then Easter. I'm waiting on some stickers to come in um, that I will probably use for Easter, um, so and we'll see how that goes. And then I might actually set up a Easter spread for this week because I don't have the stickers yet, but I want to get this laid out and done. So let's go ahead and put in a few decorations because I really want to put these hummingbirds in. I really love this one. I'm going to put this one. Oh, they're kind of big. Do this one here. I might have to cut some of him off, but that's okay. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and just trim the side here. No problemo. Okay. And then I want to use this pretty one. I'm going to put that... Hmm. I think I'm going to put him here. It's gonna cover up Friday a little bit, but that's okay. I know what day it is. Um, and then this big, beautiful one, I'm gonna put at the bottom of the weekend because why not? On the weekends, I'm usually busier than during the week. I mean, like writing wise, but that's okay. I'll figure it out as we go. And then I'm gonna put this one here on this box. Oops, let's move him over so I'm not cutting his beak off. I'm gonna put him right here. And then we have these beautiful flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one up here. Make sure y'all are seeing what I'm doing. And then we have purple flowers. And then Another one here. Okay, and then we have this smaller bird. I think I'm gonna put him right here between Monday and Tuesday. And then stick a flower up here. Put a flower under the new releases. And I have a couple more flowers. I love these little bitty decos. They're so cute. I'll put that right here. And then this one I'm gonna put under here so it looks like the hummingbird is going towards it. And then I think I'm gonna save these. Anything I have left over from a weekly setup, I usually use in my daily. So I'll probably use this for one of the days. Um, and my dailies and we have our boxes down now I did want to put these in as well so let's do let's do green I love green so I'm gonna put green here as a Saturday box in case something is specifically going on nothing that I know of yet 
I'm going to put this on Wednesday. Let's see. Can I do it without covering up the flower? Yes, I can. And then the blue one, I'm going to put here because I usually have meetings on Mondays. And then I have these little ones. So, and I have a few different colors. I think I'm going to put... Let's do the baby blue. I'm gonna put this as a label for the box and I'm gonna put a to-do sticker in there. All right. And then, I'm gonna just stick these down here because I'm sure something will come up that I will need to do on these days. All right, so we're good there. Um, let's go ahead and get our scripts now. So the sticker um, album is from Steph's Design Space. You can get it. You'll get 30 of these large sheets. And then you can buy these half, half like two per sheets if you need um, for real cheap. Um, you should definitely check it out. But I want to use these to-do stickers. I'm going to put one as a weekly to-do and then one for Saturday because Saturday is usually whenever I get things done around the house. And those are my vitamin stickers. I don't need those. Oh, I forgot about those new release stickers too. Okay. So what I'm going to do is stick this in here. And then let's do, let's do a black box. I'll just put that up here. Um, Saturdays and Sundays tend to not be like a real scheduled. I don't use the day, the times on those days. I just tend to make lists of things that need to be done. Um, and then I do have black dots from Steph Design Space as well. All right, so let's mark in like the regular stuff. So trash day is Monday, so I'm gonna stick that there. I love these, you can get these from Steph's shop as well. These are some of her newer releases. And then I'm gonna do the black dots on here for my to-do list on Saturday. So for right now, I don't really have anything, so I'm just gonna put three dots um, to see what's needed there. All right, so we've got that. And then I think that is pretty much it. Let me check um, how my zooms, I need to put my zoom in. So I do have a Zoom on Saturdays that I usually do that starts at 6. So if that's 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I usually am on there all night with my friends. Love it. Um, and then I think I'm going to put a weekend banner as well. This is from Cookie Bear Cutie. This was... Um, the winter glaze weekend banners and I'm just gonna lay that across here you know I'm just stickering it up okay sorry not sorry and then I do also want to use an I am statement um, I love these just little affirmations for the week to keep things going I think I'm gonna put it over here because I don't need that whole box there I am strong. I'm gonna stick that right in there. And then let's put some dots in the to-do list over here. I am loving the dots. I know some people don't use these like whenever they come in kits, I do. I would rather have the bullet point dots like this than to have the checklists. That's just me personally because I like to be able to have more room if needed and you can space these out how you want them. So we are there. All right. All right, 
right. So I think we're done there. Is there anything else? Um, normally I put breakfast, lunch, and dinner here, um, but I have this here, so I don't want to do that this week. I already know, I mean, what I'm putting there. Um, so I think we're good. I do want to put a meeting script down, so let me grab that real quick. I feel like this went, this went pretty quickly. Um, so I'm going to put that right here. And that script is from Pookie Bear Cutie. Um, and then what am I missing? Oh, I do want to do my weigh in. So let's do a purple box for that. Why not? here one of my weigh-in stickers and I got this from I think growing modestly which is no longer open sadly um, but yeah uh, and then I have some scales I have these ones but I don't want those they don't they're not what I'm looking for. I have some scales that I got from Steph's Design Space that are really cute. Let's see if I can find them. And there's the clipboards. There they are. Here's the scales. They're in black and white. I'm going to use a white one on this spread. All right, I think we are done. We can call that completed now. So let me put this away real quick. And if you guys liked this video, Please let me know, comment down below. Um, and then one thing I did also want to point out about Steph's design space real quick is that her name is a sticker. I love marking my planner with whatever uh, company I used for the main part of the setup. So I am going to go ahead and put this. I think I'm going to put it down here. I just mark so that way whenever I do my flip throughs, I know what companies I used and who made what stickers. Um, so yeah, so this is the end of my video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me set up the first week of April. I am really excited. I love these hummingbirds so much. Um, if you guys haven't already, um, check it out. Uh, check out Steph Design Space Community on Facebook. Uh, you can also find Cute Cut Craft VIP on Facebook. They both have amazing stuff you can do, different offers, uh, Facebook freebies if you order, all of that where you get all the special codes. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.